Welcome to a preview of the MolPlus plate fixture creation utility. Upon launching the dialog, we notice that the first step is to create the uh, grid lines or the grid for creating the plates. We have the option to create the grid lines manually, as you can see. And we also have an option that allows you to use a grid editor. So in order to use the uh, grid editor, we will disable the laser fixture grid lines that already exist. And now clicking on this button will launch the interface that shows us the uh, grid editor. You can see that we have seven lines in X and three in Y. Now you have a round off dimension and you can also create offsets in X and Y and also set a specific depth in Z based on the lowest point of the part. Move to the top view. And here you can see that as soon as I move my cursor close to any grid line, it highlights. Why? This is because in addition to creating the grid lines, I can pick any of the grid lines and move them easily on the part so that I can reposition them in the best optimal manner in order to create the grid. Now I can also add new grid lines in X and Y but we will not look at that option now. So once I'm satisfied with the setup, I can click on OK, and you will see a preview of the plates created. So at this point, we can change all the different settings. Let's just see the outline over here, and you see that in this case, we have the slot. We can indeed change the plate thickness if we wish. And just by changing the value, you will notice that the uh, dynamic preview is instantly updated. Now, here's where you have the slot connection. I'm going to move the plate thickness back to six. And if I do not want to create the uh, offsets for the slot, by unchecking it, I will no longer have any slots created. So the next step would be to preview and see if I want to have chamfers. In this case, I can set my chamfers and I can also disable them if I do not want it. In this case, I'm not going to create the chamfers. I can control any of the free spaces in the part. Base plate, you have all the controls to create the base plate that uh, plates will connect to. And uh, here, you can create scallops on top of the plates if you wish. So if I enable this option, you will see that now scallops are created along all the parts. This helps to load and unload parts into the uh, plate fixture. In addition to scallops, now you can also create cutouts in the plates. So if I enable this option, you see that I have the possibility to create lightweight plates by creating cutouts and I can play with any of these parameters over here to update and change the values as I wish. I'm going to change this back to 80 and I have only those. So very quickly, I can create a plate fixture structure to support the part for trimming, for any type of finishing application, and I'm good to go. The final step is creating the plate fixtures. Come to the Output tab. In this case, I'm going to activate Assembly and simply click on Create Geometry. Once plates are created as solids, we can exit the Plate Fixture Creation tool. And you'll notice that the assembly for the plate fixtures is created on the specified level. And if we need to just view the plate fixture assembly alone, we can disable the uh, part layer and there we go so here are all the plates created with the scallops and the cutouts
this concludes the preview of the Mold Plus plate fixture creation tool.